Hi, welcome to Grove Knits. Uh, my name's Rebecca. So for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you very much for joining me. And for those of you returning, welcome back and thank you for giving me your time. So now let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm now just going to show you some of my spinning stuff that I've been doing. Now I, I'll put a photo in here. I've recently bought, well actually I didn't buy. My husband bought me for my birthday an Ashford spinning wheel, a, a Kiwi 3 I think it is. So I'm learning to spin. I'm not very good at it yet, um, but I'm just going to show you some of the fibre I've got to spin with and what I've spun so far. So along with the spinning wheel that my husband bought me, he's such a sweetheart that he bought me some really nice uh, fibres as well to spin with. Excuse the ruffling. From the Woolstash, which is a lovely yarn store in Melden. Uh, so Melden's near, I, I'm, we're in Victoria, as I said, near Bendigo, um, and Melden's about half an hour out of Bendigo as well. So this is Corridale. And so we got this because um, this is apparently great fibre to start off spinning with. So um, we got some lovely Corridale. I've got some other Corridale in some different colours, some plain, some limes. Excuse the noise for a second. Some more Corridale in some gorgeous tones there. Some, it's what is it, a peach, a gold, and a nice apricot and orange. Now, while my, while my husband is happy for me to practice spinning on this stuff, I, and I know that this is absolutely ridiculous, I can't bring myself to spin with it and ruin it. And I know that doesn't make sense. I don't want to ruin good fibre. I want to wait till I'm actually good enough and actually can spin not perfectly there's no but at least without constantly destroying the fibers and breaking it and going from there because this little bag the or each of these little bags that i've shown you are eight dollars a piece so now i understand this doesn't make logic because i'm much better off spinning on good fiber that drafts easily however let's not apply logic to everything that i do so instead what I did, I went to the Bendigo Woolen Mills and bought a bag of fibre. But they have, the Bendigo Woolen Mills have loads of bags of fibre. They have good spinning fibre. So for example, I've actually got this and this has been drafted up beautifully. It's ready to spin. So this is uh, called Snow Cloud is the colourway for this. And this is a full kilo of pure wool. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. It's 738 grams. And as you can see there, that 738 grams was $32.45. This is all ready to spin. Beautifully carded, ready to go. I still don't feel I'm ready to waste this, even though that's only $32. So instead, I bought Pure Wool and Bermuda Laps. Now, for anyone that's been mucking around with any fibre would know... Um, and I bought that because I was $13 a bag. I don't have any, I don't even have the, the combs to do my own carding. So what I've been doing, now my logic with this is, I can spin it and it's spinning up okay. Um, but if I make my life more difficult, if I can overcome and actually do okay with fibre that's really difficult to spin, then when I get to the good stuff, it's going to spin like a dream. So I've been going through and pre-drafting, you know, certain parts and just getting it all ready and then spinning. Now, I don't have, I've, I've spun so far only 300 gram balls of yarn or spin, it was spindles and then I've weighed them off. My very first one, I've got a, a girlfriend, Lenny, who's an artist um, and she's very special to me. I gave her my first ball of yarn that I spun. Um, because she will use it in some of the art, artistic stuff that she creates and it's just a good use of that yarn. So my second ball of yarn, which trust me, it spun up pretty much like the first one, 
you'll see that I'm quite inconsistent. Now, having said that, I've got to say, I'm proud of myself for being able to spin with this fibre that's really not good and considering I don't have anything to card it with. Um, I buy hand spun yarn sometimes from home spinners and I feel that what I've spun, even though I know this is quite bad, especially compared to my next ball I'm about to show you, I've, bought, I've paid good money for hand spun yarn that is spun like this. So I'm not going to be too hard on myself because I think I've done a good job out of fibre that really wasn't that great, but that I feel better about going through and spinning up while I learn how to use a wheel because prior to this, I have touched a spinning wheel once and it was when I was at a yarn show and I had about 30 seconds of sitting down after watching someone else do it. And I think within three seconds, I broke the fiber, freaked out because I thought I'd destroyed everything for her. Of course, now I know I really hadn't. Um, and I was just, I was actually shaking because I was that worried that I was going to destroy the fiber she was putting through. I'm having, what I'm still struggling with is I'm over twisting. I'll get that down pat. So this is the third ball that I've done and you can see if I show the differences here, I'm a little bit more consistent. So what I'm trying to get into the habit now is going a little bit thinner because this isn't plied. Um, and I actually want to bring my ply down a bit so I can then ply a nice cream together with a colour and just have a two coloured and just, just a two ply spin. At the moment, I don't even know how to ply. Good old YouTube, thank goodness. I will use that to learn that. Um, I love watching Babbles Travelling Yarns and I've gotten a lot of my spinning tips through Grace and watching her podcast. Um, so I will no doubt go back to her history and pull out some more of her applying ones. I think that I saw a applying one there some time back. Um, if not, there are plenty of other people that I can have a look at to learn how to ply. Obviously, I'm not going to bother plying these guys. Um, I'm probably going to turn this big chunky one just into a beanie since I'm doing a beanie thing at the moment. Um, I have not set the twist of any of this because again, I still don't know what I'm doing. Um, I should probably read a book, but where's the fun in that? Let's just have at it and see how we go. All right. So yeah, so that's, this is the fiber that I'm using, but I'm going to tell you, it's actually fun. It's fun doing something that I've really got to think about and figure through as I'm going. Um, please let me know, for those of you that do spin, if you've got any tip, tips or, hit or hints, or if you think that I'm really doing the wrong thing here, because as I said, my logic is, if I can learn to spin this bad stuff, then spinning the good stuff is just going to be an absolute dream. Um, if that's not the way that I should go, and I'm getting there, and I'm not getting discouraged, so discouragement isn't, an, isn't at all an issue with me, because I'm okay with um, not doing things great for as long as it takes. I also have another bag of flaps. So this is just a nice olive green. Uh, there's no Bermuda in this, so this will just be wool. And that's 582 grams for $14.55. So I love the colors in that. Um, what I really like the thought of is if I can spin this stuff quite well and it knits up fine for me, um, it's just a nice, very affordable way for me to get some yarn for uh, some fiber for spinning and some yarn for knitting. So as that tour de fleece starts today, I think I need to do some spinning. Sorry, I'm looking over in that direction because my wheel is sitting over there. Uh, so I've got her all ready to go for tour de fleece. Excuse the sound for a second. Just putting the fiber away. So I need to pull her out and actually do some spinning. I'm going to stop the podcast here so I can actually get a new item on my needles. Um, as you can tell, though, I haven't figured out what that's actually going to be quite yet. Um, so who knows? But either way, today's the day for Tour de Fleece that starts. So I'm also going to do some spinning and get some stuff on my needles again. 
So thank you very much for joining me. Have a lovely afternoon and I'll talk to you later.